Mahananda's come to the University of Leicester to learn how to work with bacteriophages. He wants to be able to use them to treat moths that are used to make silk in India. So he's come here to actually learn all the techniques that he'll be able to assimilate and then take back to India to be able to advise farmers on how to actually use bacteriophages. Mahanand has been learning how to isolate bacteriophages for a number of different bacterial pathogens. The actual moths that he wants to be able to treat, they don't grow here in this country. They need very specific conditions. Even in India, you have to grow them outside. So they suffer from a number of different bacterial pathogens. One is Pseudomonas, so we've been using that as a model here. So we've done that by sampling places that we know are good sources of Pseudomonas viruses, so mainly muck heaps, for example, in soil environments. So we bring the samples into the lab and we isolate viruses on our strains of Pseudomonas. He's also been learning on Clostridium. We have a lot of work that goes on on Clostridium difficile bacteriophages. And some of the pathogens he probably wants to work with are quite tricky. So if he can isolate bacteriophages in this system, then we figure this would be a good start. And he, can, he knows how to do it when he goes back uh, to India. So he's learned very well how to actually pull out the right type of viruses. And because you can't grow the correct moth in the UK, We've actually been using a different model, which is called a Galeria model. What we've been working out with this model is how best to get viruses into the caterpillars. So is it best to have them orally, or is it best to put them directly into the hemolymph? And we've been working out the types of dosages we might need of viruses to treat the insects. So far, he's actually got some quite exciting preliminary data in that he's shown that when we give the caterpillars viruses into their mouths, we can actually prevent the bacterial infection forming within them. So this bodes really, really well. It suggests that phages would indeed be applicable in the wild. We could put the viruses on the leaves that the caterpillars consume, and if they take those leaves with the viruses, then they should be able to protect themselves from actually getting an infection in the first place.